I wrote this poem years ago. I was at Edgar Allan Poe's grave, trying to just kind of pull a poem out of nowhere. And I guess I did, but it totally sucked. And I happened to meet this girl who got me into her computer lab. And then in there on Facebook, I saw that you were in a relationship with a guy named Brandon, which made me pretty jealous and upset. Because we never had that. We never got that far. So I cried to this girl that I met for a couple hours about you. <laughs> and then thanks to couch, couch surfing, had a, had a place to stay that night. And I dreamed about you all night. And I woke up with this poem. Just on the tips of my fingertips. And I immediately grabbed my journal and my pen and I wrote it down called it Heliconia because of that flower that I had sent you once. Silly little thing, but it every interaction with you back back in these days meant a lot to me. The moment I finished that poem, the very second I finished that poem, I got a text message from you. Just asking me how I was doing. But the very second, <laughs> it meant everything to me. I lost the poem for a little while. It was in journal number one, which I meant to give to you on my mission to Maine. Remember when I asked to choose past or future? If you had chosen past, I was going to give you that journal. But you chose future, so I gave you the letter instead. And I put the journal in Haley's bag, which I gave to Rachel, to hold on to. But when I came back last year, well, I needed my hat back, because I didn't even mean to leave that. And I needed that journal back. When I got the journal back, I memorized the poem again. And this whole last year, I've been reciting it all the time. So I'd be ready to recite it to you in person. And I still hope to one day. Still hope to one day.